Hey guys, let's go over module two for nutrition. So the objectives for this module are going to be um, creating a breakdown of food sources. Um, for the nutrient value, we're gonna look at the a healthy body composition as well as the health indicators. So lots of health, lots of math, lots of um, different things. Well, let's just download this and no zoom out. Look at it this way. Okay, so um, chapter three is going to go over the human body from a nutritional perspective. Um, so we're just going to hit a couple different things within these uh, PowerPoints, PowerPoint three and four today. So you're going to choose, um, we're not going to choose three, three organelles, but we're going to look at cells, tissues, and organs, their concepts. Um, so cells obviously are the basic uh, structure and function of a body, of a life form. Um, we are made up, obviously, of many, many cells. And um, this is just a diagram of an animal cell, um, your cell membrane, um, the plasma, which is like the cell membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondria, the nucleus. Um, you should just do like a brief overview of all of these. Um, there will be a few things on your quiz, uh, just stating what each one kind of does. So tissues, um, we do have a lot over tissues as well. So we're going to look at um, different tissues like your muscle tissues designed for movement, connective tissue supports and protects the body, um, your nervous tissue is like covering your nervous system, um, different things on organs. So you want to be familiarized with uh, organs, what they do, the organ system. Um, we're really going to go over like body functions and how your organs move everything. So metabolism, what is metabolism, what's ATP, um, cell metabolism, it's the entire collection of processes involved in maintaining life. Um, your antibiotic metabolism is energy, catabolic metabolism takes molecules apart and releases energy. Um, so the cardiovascular and lymphatic system, what are the concepts? We're going to look at both of these. So your cardiovascular system is going to be your heart, your blood, blood flow, your lungs, everything. And um, within that, everything with like cardio. So um, we'll just kind of look quickly at this diagram. Uh, your heart, obviously, um, your cardiovascular is like all the veins, blood, everything like that. So your arteries, capillaries, and your veins. Um, the cardiovascular system facilitates exchange of oxygen and nutrients and waste between the body's internal and external environments, also delivers hormones to their target cells, maintains constant body temperature, and distributes white blood cells throughout the body to protect against pathogens as part of the immune system. So the lymphatic system um, is a network of vessels and fluid that accepts fluid surrounding cells in large particles such as uh, produces or products of fat absorption. So this would kind of be um, like your lymphatic system within your capillaries, um, within your uh, cardiovascular system. So our gastro tract, uh, this is something that's going to be on your quiz as well. So the most water soluble nutrients from recent eaten foods are transferred into the hepatic portal circulation. Um, nutrients pass from intestin intestinal capillaries into veins that merge into large peptic portal veins that lead to the liver. And we'll look at how all this works. So then um, the urinary system is made up of your kidneys, ure urethra, ure, and, ure yeah, and urine. So urine is how we get rid of waste to make liquid waste. This is just a little overview of um, the urinary system, the main function, of course, is to remove waste from the body. Other functions include uh, maintaining an acid-based pH of our blood, contributing to bone health, and producing the hormones that simulates red blood cell synthesis. Uh, cranberries are very good for our urinary um, system. So our nervous system consists of the brain, spinal cord, nerves, sensory, and receptors. Uh, the nerve transmission is a signal um, in neuron occurs through change in connection of two nutrients, sodium and potassium. So um, if we have too much salt, it can uh, set off our nervous system. If we have not enough salt, they can set off our nervous system. Same with potassium. Um, 
cell wall diagram of your nerves, the nutrients that the brain needs um, will be like your neurotransmitters. Uh, those are like a little kind of th these things that kind of go through everywhere. And then glucose is um, the preferred fuel of the brain, so kind of like sugar. Uh, let's see, the endocrine system is a major role in regulation of metabolism, reproduction, water balance, and many other functions. The endocrine system is particularly our hormones. Um, so the pancreas is really in charge of that system, um, which includes insulin and thyroid. So here would be some other hormones um, and their nutritional significance. We've got the immune system, which is our skin and intestinal scale, uh, cells, non-specific immunity and specific immunity. You need to know the difference between the two of those. Um, continuing on, antibodies versus antigens, the digestive system. So this is going to be um, a big one within the quiz uh, for module two. So it consists of the gastrointestinal tract, as well as like your liver, liver gallbladder, and pancreas. Of what does it do? So digestion is the large intestine or ingested molecules are mechanically and chemically broken down to produce basic nutrients that can be absorbed across the wall of the GI tract, um, as well as absorb absorption, absorption, the GI tract, the sides of the body for digestion, consists of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and venous. So that's typically the flow that everything goes through showing us the GI tract, um, how your enzymes kind of attach to different things. Um, so then this will go through all of the ways, like everything that's in the GI tract. Um, this is very important for you to know. So I would suggest going through here, reading more about it. Um, there are some different um, helpful tools within the module for this. So, um, Without going through all of this, just in like depth, because I don't want to beat a horse, um, go through the body functions, understand them, know them, how the tract works, what the large intestine does, what the small intestine does, why is your liver important? So that's going to be all from chapter three. Let's go over into chapter four, because there's also some good information there as well. Hopefully this one looks cherubing, maybe. Okay, well, perfect. Back to the big screen. So chapter four goes over carbs. So we talked about carbs in module one. Um, they are going to be more prevalent in module two. So we're not gonna go over like learning outcomes, but what are carbs? Why are they a good energy source? Why do we need them? Um, as we remember from module one, they provide four kilograms of per gram of energy. So glycogen is a carb made of multiple glucose molecules. So glucose is a form of sugar that we do need. We store glucose. Um, it helps us move. It gives us energy. Photosynthesis is something that also gives us energy because we eat plants. Plants give us energy from the photosynthesis that they get. So forms of carbs. These are going to be like your simple breakdowns of carbs um, in a molecular sense. So monosaccharides, um, they are table sugar. Um, they are in the bloodstream. It's a fruit sugar. It's look, look up here. So it's just conformed of three different cells. So your glucose, fructose, and lactose. Um, you can see on the bottom of this diagram, what they are each made of, but it's just like a makeup of cells. Mono means one. So uh, complex carbs are made of poly, so of many. Um, they contain many glucose units from 10 to 1,000 more. Um, the same with start. They have a little bit different um, of a genetic makeup as well. So starches, 3,000 or more. Um, root vegetables, such as potatoes, um, are starch. Common, these are just like cell breakdowns of your carbs. Glycogen um, is a polysaccharide. Um, they 
are store a stored form of carbs in animals and humans. So we do store glycogen in our bodies, um, turns into fiber. We do need fiber. They're soluble and insoluble. So soluble would be the core of the apple. Um, insoluble is like that bran. Classification to fibers, fibers and foods. Um, so you want to kind of go through this and look at carbs as foods just to better understand your carbs. Another example of my plate with a carbs, um, beverage choices. So uh, you want to go through and look at how everything's absorbed and the nutrients that it has. So whole grains, um, why is it better to have a whole grain versus a refined grain? You can see here, it contains all components of the grain, doesn't contain as much of the grain, it increases your blood glycose response. Complex carbs are slower to the glycose, so they are slower to making our body, um, we're not gonna burn it off as fast. So typically, maybe you'll see whenever you eat, um, like a higher dose sugary food, maybe like a Snickers bar, where it gives you that quick, immediate, fast energy. Um, whereas if you were to eat a whole grain, such as rice or oatmeal, it doesn't um, kind of, it doesn't leave you feeling hungry faster. That makes sense. So whole grain council stamps, um, you don't see a whole lot of these anymore, but on certain things you can. Um, here's just some more like grains. Uh, quinoa is good, contains a protein with all essential amino acids. Um, wheat is good. You want to look for a whole wheat, though. Um, vegetables are a carb, so you want to look at um, those different vegetables. Potatoes, fruits are also a carb. Um, fruits are a bit sweeter, so they are more of a sugary carb. So um, just because your fruits and vegetables are healthy, good carbs for you doesn't mean you want to overdo it with them. Um, you're going to want to watch what you eat because um, eating five bananas in a day is not going to be good. Too much of a good thing can turn bad. So just kind of like an example, um, juicing, pros and cons to juicing. Um, we're not going to really go into that. You're going to look at dairy. So dairy is also a form of carbs in different ways, um, which we need. We need all carbs, so don't be scared of carbs. Um, you can look at the nutritional sweeteners. This has high fructose corn syrup. Um, this just has a whole bunch of different um, ways that carbs are good. Carbs can be bad and ugly. Alternative sweeteners. Here are some of those big long words for alternative sweeteners. Um, but mainly for this um, chapter, we kind of want to look at um, starch and sugar digestion. So now that we've gone through all of that, the things we're going to look here. So food has short duration in the mouth, of course. Um, we know that, we chew that, we see that. Your saliva breaks it down. Um, chewing makes it, breaks it down as well so that we can swallow. Some things will digest faster than others, such as different starches. Um, you'll see like the carbs digestion and absorption rate through this diagram. So um, you can look at this case study for milk. Um, but you want to like look at how the liver provides glucose. So a lot um, from this section is going to um, look at the cell components in chapter three. You're going to look at the body functions as well as chapter three. Chapter three is a really big, important chapter for us. And then you're going to look at carbs and their absorption and nutritional rates. Um, so that's all going to be within your quiz. If you have questions, please let me know. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed some of the information that we've talked about in module two. Um, I promise that there is better information within here as well. You can look at the energy and nutrients video here, um, and then you can look at calculating calories, which goes a lot more within module one, but we are still learning about that in module two. So I hope you've enjoyed, and let's move on to the next one.